Okay, here's the challenge. A client of mine sent me a PDF file and said he needed a working drawing. When I asked him for like something I can work with, like an AutoCAD file, okay, or a Revit file at least, so that can I so that I can just you know start working immediately. He said that is the only thing he got from his client because the client I'm talking about is an architect. So now, if you're having this same challenge, I'm going to show you how you can convert PDF files into a DWG file. So you can either work you know, with, on them straight up in AutoCAD, AutoCAD, or you can now import them, okay, or link them into Revit where you can do a lot of things with it. So to begin, let's, let me, I will just click on Start Drawing. Okay, so um, to to be able to do this, I think you have to have like from 2018 AutoCAD upwards. I don't know. Okay, so I'm um, using 2021. So see, you see import, PDF import. So click on it and then you find it where you save the PDF. This is the PDF file. Okay, so I'm going to hit open. Okay, um, also you see. This is, I want to just start importing from the site plan. You can do this as many times as you need to, okay? You can see some settings that you can do over here. You can set your scale if you already know the scale, which naturally, you know, by default, off the bat, you shouldn't be able to tell the scale, okay? But if so, for some reason you know the scale, you can impute the scale here. If the scale is 1 in 2 or 1 in 3 or 1 in 200, type the number the value here you can set you know these are import options you can set your your file to import as a block you can convert you know solid fields to hatches if you want all those things i don't really care about them so i'm just going to hit the ok button so after a while it is going to load now if you use autocad you would know how to rescale this drawing because trust me it is not to scale but then i'm a chronic revit user okay so our job here is done, all right? I'm going to now save this file so we can import it in Revit. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to save, and I'm going to name it um, Site Plan Import, okay? So I'm going to save. Now I've saved it, all right? So I'm, I've already opened my Revit, this is, um. Revit. So to import this file so we can rescale it and start working with it, you have to go over to the insert tab. Okay. You can either import card or you can link card. Okay. For the purpose of this tutorial, I mean, anyone you want to do is still fine. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to be linking card like so. So Let's find, this is the file we exported, if you can remember, we call this site plan import, okay? So preserve the color, or you can change it to black and white, or invert it, whatever, okay? In fact, let, let's invert it, I'm going to invert it, all right? So positioning, automatic, origin to internal ori origin, you can do center to center, okay? But I'm going to leave it uh, at origin to internal origin because... What I'm using is the default, you know, metric template that came with the 2024. So I believe the origin is where it's supposed to be. So when I import it, it is going to land at the right place. Okay, so you can do current view only. So it keeps this, you know, the, the import, this site plan import that we're about to import into this Revit scene. It is going to keep it at that particular scene, like this l1 architectural that is where it's going to import it and i'm going to check that all right so we're going to leave it at auto detect okay um maybe it does a pretty good job to detect you know the the scale to which a drawing is made but mind you this this drawing is not to scale at all as we're going to find out soon okay but that is no issue let's import it okay now you can see you can see our dimension let's dimension it to see what we're going to get so i'm going to zoom in pretty close inside here and then hit the tab button okay till i get that that um corner i'm going to go over here too and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to hit the tab button here and i'm going to click let's see what we're going to get 
you can see this is not a scale at all. Okay, all we're getting is 3,677 as opposed to 28,950. So to fix that, I'm going to show you the trick how I do, you know, the rescaling, my rescaling method. So I'm going to go over to the annotate and I'm going to select um, detail line, detail line. So I'm going to come to this edge and I'm going to find that corner. This is that corner. Okay. So I'm going to hit tab so it aligns itself to the line. Then I'm going to, let me zoom out a little bit so we can see the number again. I'm going to write, I'm going to type in 28950. Okay. All right. So as you can see, now it's time for us to rescale it. For, before you can do anything to this linked file, this linked DWG file, you have to first of all unpin it. So we are just going to do that. And then we we'll now select the scale to scale two is on the, you know, modify tab. Okay. You don't even need to do like when you select this, you see, I'm in annotate tab, but when I select this, it's going to open, you know, the contextual tab as a modifier. Then you can now click on the scale. This is scale two, as you can see. All right, so just come over here, right, and then click at the edge of that line. Then hit tab to select that corner again. Uh -huh. Click here, and then take it up and click at the edge of this other line, okay? Almost the same way we do it in AutoCAD too, if you're an AutoCAD user, okay? So I'm going to move this in. Now you can see our dimension is the same as what we're having here. So now you can go ahead and start, you know, working on your, on your site plan, okay? This same method also applies for floor plans. It also applies for elevation and section if you need to import them into Revit, all right? So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because we draw videos like this every week, okay? Don't only subscribe, also ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of your future tutorials when we drop them, all right? Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one.